Science and the Pokemon Company. Well, how about a shout out? <laughs> that franchise has been around for 20 years. Pokemon celebrated its 20 year anniversary. There's a big Super Bowl ad. Some of you may have seen it for Pokemon uh, to commemorate that. Uh, but they've taken such great care of, of that game and the environment around it and such great care in, in nurturing it all these years. So we felt like bringing that together with our real world gaming experience, we'd have some level of success, but I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been nuts. I, um, I had to fly to Japan for this Ingress event just as we were starting the global rollout. And I left um, most of my team behind here uh, so, Ed, thank you, Phil, thank you, Tatsu, Dennis, um, these people were sitting there and the servers just got bombarded. Right. Um, I, what do you mean? I haven't had any problems with <laughs> Worked like a charm, right from the get-go. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not going to give any numbers out, but we had a lot of, I mean, we worked at Google for a while, I and mean, Google Maps is used by a lot of people. And there's some world-class technologists on our team and a huge, amazing team at Google that were backing us up, the Google Cloud team, where our service loads. But uh, we weren't provisioned for what happened. And so we had to add a bunch of servers, and then we had to figure out some bugs in our system that were created by that. Uh, but yeah, the team did an amazing job as this thing exploded. But yeah, it was surreal for me in Japan, kind of watching through social media and my wife and other friends were saying, hey, did you see this? Did you see that? And yeah, when it showed up on Jimmy Fallon, it was like, wow, yeah, I guess it's, I guess, yeah, it's something at this point. Well, yeah, and the, fir the, fir the first couple of days, because I know I would see people get upset and be like, I can't get on, I can't get on, and I had trouble getting on too, and your team tweeted back at me, and they're like, we're working on it, and, and I just sort of understanding, you know, all of a sudden, I was shouting at someone the way that people shout at me about things that I don't entirely control. <laughs> I don't know who Negan killed, I don't. Uh, and so, you know, I, I, I understood, oh, well, they, didn't, they expected it to do well, but I don't think they, ex you can't predict this kind of viral quality to something. So I, I assume you guys were just like, what the shit? You know, like you're just trying to figure it out right away. Totally calm. I, I saw, <laughs> no, there was a, you know, there was a little excitement running around the office for sure. But uh, for us, more than anything, as you mentioned, just to go out in the street, I mean, we all that we had that experience. I had it in my neighborhood. Um, our local park was flooded with middle schoolers and high schoolers uh, playing Pokemon Go. People walking the streets of San Francisco. Um, it's so amazing to see. And you know, I credit that the game is the game, but the game is really an excuse to go outside and walk around and see your city and have fun with other people. And that's you know, that's the cool part. I think. But it's already yeah, it's already. Created. You know, whenever I go to a stop, I see other people there, I instantly have something to talk about. Hey, did you find this? Did you catch this? How are you guys doing? And I, I go to this diner every morning for breakfast, and there's a dude, a real hard looking dude who kind of seats people, and, uh, and he's like shaved head. He just looks hard. He just looks like a, you know, dude. He's a hard dude. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm feeble. And, uh, <laughs> And so I'm, I'm eating, but I'm kind of playing at the same time because I just drop lures at the stops across from the diner, and then I just break them in. You know, always drop a lucky egg, double up the XP, and then just like level up. You know, I, I'll buy the eggs because I, I have a good job and I don't care. Uh, I'll just buy them. I'll just buy like a thousand eggs. Like I don't give a shit. I'll use them. And, uh, and By the way, if this feels unrehearsed, it's because yesterday we were supposed to practice this. And Chris spent the first 10 minutes catching a Pikachu, so... Oh, you know why? The that, Pikachu oh, showed up the second you walked in the room. I was like, you're magic! <laughs> <laughs> but this is supposed to rehearse. But this dude, what do you can't rehearse? These, this dude, <laughs> this dude at the diner, I, he saw me playing and he goes, he looked around and he goes, Hey man, there's a shit ton of Pokemon at Santa Monica Pier. And I'm like, oh my god! You know? I might, and I've never, I might have to go offline and get now something else so I like, can run, run my app. Like, we bonded over this. <laughs> So, and, and I don't know if you guys saw this from the State Department. Did you see this from the State Department? There was a press conference. And he said to the board, bro, you're playing the Pokemon thing right there, aren't you? And the reporter goes, the reporter goes, I'm just going to keep it open. Uh, and later on in the conference, the guy goes, did you catch him? And he's like, yeah. So, <laughs> but, be, but beyond that, I mean, beyond just the fact that it's entertainment. Uh, Make sure there follow are me on Twitter. Real 
health benefits and real, there's real social value uh, to what's happening. I know the, uh, the Guardian uh, called it a national health service. They said, what makes Pokemon Go irresistible is that it's basically a good old fashioned treasure hunt crossed with a fairy tale, adding up to that uh, parenting holy grail, an excuse to go out in the fresh air and move. So it's actually helping people exercise, get do better for their health. Was that, was that something you had planned? Well, I had done some reading when we were first starting up the group about, and for me personally, I was in a real high stress job for those seven years when we were uh, building Google Maps. I mean, you can imagine you know, all the craziness around that as, as that product kind of exploded and, and Google and so on. And I was just personally trying to get more relaxed in my life, and I was reading about ways to do that. And as it turns out, walking actually has huge amounts of benefit uh, for you physiologically and mentally. Uh, there have been a number of studies about this. There's a great book called Spark about this. Um, it actually makes you smarter, so you think better whenever um, after you after you walk. Uh, helps your brain function. That's why you know a lot of scientists are sort of known for taking long walks in the wood and woods, and when they're trying to solve hard problems. So we had this idea that if we could, you know, incorporate a little bit of that into the app, that um, people would probably like it. But we certainly didn't want to advertise that as, you know, a fitness app or, or something of that nature. I mean, right. I've got kids. You don't you don't tell your kids that it's good for them. <laughs> you know, you give them something that tastes good, and it also happens to be good for them. So. Uh, yeah, we just thought we could roll it in, and it would make a really fun product to incorporate that. Um, but it's been great to see. I mean, I've got a, you know, I've got a ten-year-old who, I mean, he loves to play Minecraft like every other ten-year-old in the world. No problem. And he's begging his mom to go out on five-kilometer walks and ten-kilometer walks to hatch his eggs. So my wife's very happy about that, and that's that's a good thing. But beyond the exercise benefits. Um, I know it's also been used as a, as a mental health aid for emotional support in hospitals. They're starting to use it uh, therapeutically for, for, to work with, with children. I know it's been especially helpful for, for autism and people working around it. But you actually, you guys have a video, a quick little video. Yeah, this was cool. If I'm trying to get a kid to raise his arms up or to squat down, I can say, hey, the guy's a little bit lower, can you reach down and get him? And that's just a really tricky way that physical therapy or occupational therapy can get a kid to do the exercise that he was screaming and crying about five minutes ago that he didn't want to do. It kind of raises the general atmosphere of happiness here. It's a technology that's only going to get better and can be more exciting. So this probably wasn't something that you foresaw when you were designing this, it would be a, th a therapeutic tool. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're not doctors and we didn't think about it from that point of view, but um, from the standpoint of us and the, and the team back at Niantic, I mean, again, everybody on the team, thank you, people have been working 24-7. The thing that gets people out of bed and, and people, you know, tell, the, tell this to me practically every day, the thing that motivates them to put so much into working on their product and keeping the servers up and running is to hear back stories like that, that people are using um, the product in ways that we never expected um, and is having a benefit out there that's uh, that's bigger than just uh, the just playing a game. So yeah. Yeah, and I, I would I would encourage, like, I would imagine that when you release something like this, you just don't know how people are going to ultimately, you know, use every corner of the app and every corner of the service. So. I, I guess if people are discovering different ways to utilize the app and the service, should they, I assume they should just share that with you, tweet that at you guys, let you know, send videos, send stories? Yeah, please do. I mean, um, if it's bringing you, you know, brings you to a good experience uh, socially or exercise or whatever, you know, share it. It's, it's a great positive cycle. There's, I mean, I don't need to tell you guys, there's a lot of negative stuff going on in the world right now. All you have to do is, is watch the evening news. and. Um, I don't know, maybe part of the reason that people embrace Pokemon Go this summer is because Make of that. Sure, follow so me on Twitter. Out there. It's, a bright, it's a bright spot, you know, for the reasons I mentioned. I'm not trying to hype the game so much as to say the things it's encouraging people to do, which is hang out with other people and go outside, get to know your neighbors, meet new folks. That's, that, those are the actions that are going to get us as a society through the period that we're going through right now. So share it, absolutely. I don't think, yeah. 
I don't think anyone would discount that seeing a Jigglypoof automatically makes them happy. Uh, uh, oh my god! I had people at our at the comedy show the other night who were tweeting pictures of different Pokemon that were on the stage uh, instead. But it was great to uh, it, it's it's just been a really great way to immediately connect. And also, Pokemon was the uh, this game put me in the really wonderful position of having to explain to two women in a yogurt shop that I was not photographing their children. Because uh, I just had to, I have, I've turned my AR off now like when I'm in stores or restaurants because I just noticed I was doing this and people were like, what? So, if something spawns, uh, I'm going to okay? film your phone. Are there other suggestions that you guys sure, yeah. uh, have? Are there other so things be creeped that out you if I, like, start uh, going maybe like have I appreciate this coming up too. or Easter eggs or anything about the game that you would I've share? I've got like 10 of them since the panel else. started. Well, like, what would you get? There are a lot of Pokemon. Uh, like, Phonitas, uh, a company bunch of Phonitas, huh? Working on crafting this amazing universe for so long, as I mentioned. Oh, what? And, I, I mean, to your really point about you'd be happy, the characters are just fantastic. Yeah, and, you know, that's to the creativity sure. and care that's gone into that and making them uh, by the Pokemon company. Execute. Um, so there are a certain set of Pokemon that are available in the game right now. They appear in certain places. Geo they like to live in certain habitats. Yeah, kept getting um, there's some rare ones that haven't shown up yet that probably will show up. And beyond first gen Pokemon, there are other Pokemon that might make their way into our universe. So that's something that we're um, looking forward yeah, to, uh, finding interesting ways yeah. to uh, make that happen over the coming months and years. Um, I know a lot of people are interested in trading. Uh, for those of you that, if you play, you know, the Game Boy version, the Game Boy Advance version, the DS version, Trading, cable, you hook up, you trade. Um, that's really awesome. I mean, that's a great kind of social thing. It's a reason to talk to somebody, strike up a conversation. So that's not in uh, Pokemon Go today, but it is something that we are working on bringing to that product. Um, or, but don't get too excited. We have to like kind of. Make sure the servers are going to stay up before we can, <laughs> <laughs> before we can work too hard on that. Um, and there are some other things. I've been working on gyms and Pokestops. Uh, I see lures everywhere, like in the park across the street. You know, I was yeah. in Old Town last night. There were lures on almost every uh, Pokestop down there. Um, so we think that's a pretty cool idea that you can... Find an object, acquire an object that's going to tr change the functionality of a Pokestop and give it new capabilities. Um, there aren't Pokemon centers in the game right now. There's some other functionality that uh, we want to bring to it, uh, probably through the ability to customize uh, Pokestops along with your, your friends uh, and teammates to kind of build up uh, an area for your gameplay. Right, so so the so the gyms aren't really the last stop. There's more to come. There's more to do, and more more things to do with them beyond that. Yeah, um, I mean, Ingress has been running for three years. It's an MMO. Pokemon Go we look at as an MMO, uh, meaning this is a you know it's a mass play multiplayer online game that we expect to run for years, and we're going to continue to invest in it in that way, extending the functionality, adding new Pokemon, adding new you know capabilities. Uh, throughout the product, so we're excited. We got probably a tenth of the ideas that we had when we kicked this thing off two years ago into the initial release. So, and we're obviously getting flooded with lots of great ideas coming in from the community. Uh, so it's just the beginning, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Can I can I pitch just a, a, a dumb idea? Can I pitch one idea? Why not? Great. Okay, good. Here we right. are. Uh, right. What are you gonna do? Say no? There's seven thousand people. Uh, <laughs> He's going to be like, no, I don't want to hear it. I would love to, because, you know, sometimes when I come back home, there's not really anything in the, in the neighborhood that I live in, because uh, I, I just, I live near a bunch of old people who don't like anything. Make sure, follow and, uh, me on Twitter. And this is where their joy is gone. I, maybe I should give them a game. And, uh, and I just sort of feel like it'd be really cool to have, like, a home gym. Like, I could just create a private home gym where I could just, tr like, maybe it doesn't affect any numbers. But it's just sort of like a practice gym, so that I can at least, you know, engage with the game when I'm sitting at home. I know the goal is to get out, but sometimes when I'm just not around other people and it's three o'clock in the morning, I, you know, I just, I need my fix, man. 
How, how are you doing with the fitness thing? Are you feeling? Are you pretty buff? Or yeah, you? I don't. I wouldn't. A buff is not a word I would ever use. Hear me, but I. But I, you know, I. But I do exercise because I'm, you know, I'm in my 40s now, and this is where it all shit falls apart, you know. So, I, I just, I, I do exercise, but I have not done the kind of cardio. I mean, I'm legitimately hiking, and I was not a hiker before. Yeah, I mean, I was just asking because. I mean, there are some people out there who, like, after dinner, they would go out for a walk, you know, and yeah. visit some pokey stops or gyms, you know. Well, so. I mean, L.A., I don't know. You know it's a little dicey <laughs> about running around the street. LA, you know, what's interesting is L.A., is anyone here from L.A.? L.A.? <laughs> Not a pedestrian culture. Not a pedestrian culture. There's that joke. Uh, there's that joke in L.A. story where Steve Martin, like, drives a block, like, like four houses. And that's very, that really is indicative of L.A. culture, but I'm actually seeing people out on the streets on this scavenger hunt, basically. Yeah. Has kind of breathed sort of new community into Los Angeles, legitimately. I mean, I know Ingress players have colonized L.A. Um, everywhere uh, from downtown to Venice, Santa Monica, everywhere in between and, and gone into these spaces, frankly, that have been in large part abandoned by pedestrians. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't live in LA. I live in San Francisco, but I visit LA a lot and I used to go down there frequently because Google has an office down there. And I feel like LA is really starting to transform itself and to take back parts of the city that kind of got left behind by the car culture that took over 20 years ago or 30 years ago. So yeah, with the subway now connecting downtown to the beach, I think, which is awesome. Um, I think there's plenty of opportunities in LA to get out and explore all the amazing little pockets in that city. So yeah, maybe you're not gonna walk everywhere, but you can certainly go, you know, you can check out little Tokyo and all the cool stuff down there. You yeah. know, it'd be a great trip to do. Yeah, I mean, I it, this is the first time I think since hint. when I was a kid and I would go to arcades and if you wanted to learn how to get better at a game, you had to watch someone else play it, like Dragon's Lair or something, where someone would go, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta jump him this way, like Dirk, you gotta jump him this way. And that's how I would learn, and this is, that has not happened. I would always go to the internet for like hacks and trying to figure out stuff, but just walking around and people go, oh yeah, here's how you throw a curveball. Damn it! Crap! <laughs> you know, but that's, but I figured it out by talking to another person. You gotta spin. You gotta spin, you gotta yeah. spin. Are, are, are there, have you guys confirmed any of the sort of Easter eggy things? Like, did you officially confirm the EV name hack? Yeah, so, anybody got any EVs out there? Oh, yeah. So, yes, if you name your EV properly, you can control how it's going to evolve. So, that's <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, there might be a few other Easter eggs buried in there yet to be discovered. Uh oh, you guys hear that? Oh, oh, and the crowd went sour. <laughs> Hold him down until he says it! <laughs> you feel there's like a ton of uh, security great thing, for some reason. You talked about they're this a little bit with Egress, but something. also having a Pokemon Go. We at Nerdist, some of our team just did a very last minute, hey, let's meet up and just do a walk around Santa Monica Pier, which again, I heard is, you know, has, has tons of them. Like 300 people showed up I, out of nowhere. So how have the how have the Pokemon meetups been doing around the world? You guys monitoring that? How have they been? Yeah, well, obviously they're, they weren't planned, and people just started doing them. You know, the ones in Central Park, and you know, like Justin Bieber's running through the streets of Manhattan to play Pokemon Go, which I thought was interesting. Um, <laughs> but there was one in San Francisco that happened on Wednesday, um, and somebody just put it on their Facebook page not really knowing what would happen, and 9,000 plus people said they'd come, and I think many thousands of people actually did show up. Uh, I walked out of our office, our servers were down part of that day, by the way, and the team was working, it was tense. They were working right up until a half hour before the event was, start to, was supposed to kick off to get our servers back online. But they got them online, and thousands of people descended on the streets of San Francisco, and and marched all the way from the mission to downtown. The same as Periscope at all fears. Cool. I think at some point in San Francisco, uh, you guys have to do some kind of like Pokecon or something, you know, like Pokecon. Pokecon. Anybody up for that? Pokecon. Pokecon. 
Um, I feel like we could probably open up the floor for a couple of questions that people might have. Let's, we could just take a couple of questions and then... <laughs> what did I summon? <laughs> Was there a video or something you wanted to show or did you just want everyone to break out and do a dance party? For <laughs> everyone who dance! Uh, nice job, nice job. I see, I see the dancing. I see you down there. Uh, what is your name and question? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> we need to get on the same page. <laughs> every time I'm about to, every time you're about to ask, are you summoning the music? No. Okay. What? It, I don't trust it. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> what is your name? Um, my name's Sophia, and I was kind of wondering after we get sorted out with the glitches and some of the other stuff maybe comes online, maybe we'll be breeding in the game? Breeding in the game. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that's that's cool. that, that music kicks back in. Oh, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, interesting idea. It's uh, I mean, it's not immediately, you know, it's not like we've been working on that and it's about to come out, but uh, I think it's a cool idea. There's been some discussion about it, so we'll take that as a great suggestion. Thank you. Yes, I'm your mother. <laughs> I asked you to stay at home so mommy could play poker. That's all right! So, my question is... I've heard about the. No, no, tell me. Jura. Sorry, Jura. Training. Just give me a moment. Training in Pokemon Go. So, when is the train update gonna come? Okay. Oh, when is it? It's right to the point. Yeah, I know. The giggling assassin. <laughs> Giggle, 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 go. When do I get my thing? I mean, I, I teased it. I said we we're gonna do it. But yeah. he wants the date. He wants something. He's got a future as a yeah. project manager. I absolutely. <laughs> the date. Oh, if you start laughing, you better run. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't have a date for you. We're we're working really hard to. Uh, to keep the servers up and running, and we're working on it, but it's going to take a little bit longer. I don't have an exact date, but uh, it's at the top of our priority list. That's all I can say. Yeah. Thank you. What's your question? Um, my question is, do the three legendary birds, <laughs> Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres, have something to do with the three teams that you choose when you get to level five. Aww. Aww. Very insightful question. Yeah, they're kind of aligned with those teams, and uh, we got a little. Mike might share something with you about the teams in a in a little bit. Yeah. Good questions. From the kids. I believe the children are future. We can live in anything we do. I was sad and long ago. What is your What is your name? Hello, I'm Winter. Hi, Winter. Um, I was wondering if the move sets of a pre-evolved Pokemon have anything to do with the move sets of the Pokemon after they evolve. We're gonna have to dial up the uh, Pokemon helpline on that one. Yeah, it is. It is, uh... There's the battery pack. Is... <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> what is your name? Hi there, I'm, uh, I'm Adrian. Uh, first off, uh, this panel wasn't started off correctly. Uh, let's go Team Valor! <laughs> Sorry, team mistake. Anyways, my question is... Uh, I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> anything. And my question is, so I keep reading online, legendaries that are going to be popped out during special events. Is uh, Comic-Con 2016 in... Pat and what, what is this? Uh, Hall H? A special... What is this? Typical Valor. <laughs> ah! Ah! 
Question: You were you're saying that other legendary, uh, other Pokemon turn up at the events like these? Just like today. That's what yeah. I'm asking. Yeah. Any chance? Any chance? Any chance of of other legendary Pokemon turning up at events like today? Oh, oh, Pokemon turning up at events like today. Yeah. Like special? Anything special for events like this? <laughs> if I could summon a Pokemon for you right now, I would, man. But. Uh, I, in the future, we. <laughs> People, please! Come on, man. We're just two human beings! <laughs> Get a hold of yourselves! Get a hold of yourselves! We're working hard. We, uh, we haven't rolled the game out everywhere yet, so uh, everybody's working real hard on getting the game rolled out. Uh, you know, we just came up in Japan a few days ago. Uh, we're adding countries every day, so... The game literally only just came out. The game just came out. I mean, it feels like... What do you, what do you want? So we're going to get there, but there aren't any... There's no new Pokemon there. It's security to get me out of here. I just, uh, hopefully there's an escape tunnel. I don't know, I'm going to run. I can't protect you. I'm not strong. <laughs> what about you? We'll take one more question. Uh, hello, my name's Robert. Uh, Team Valor once again. Uh, sorry you made this mistake. But I have a keychain. You don't have a keychain. Oh, yeah. sure, I got the stickers. I got all the gems in Imperial Beach. Level 26. What's up? Oh. But, um, uh, my question is, is, are they actually going to do something about poaching gems? Because there's nothing like sitting there taking out someone's level 8 gem by yourself, and then they get to put a Pokemon down before I can. I think we should get like 30, maybe 60 seconds to be able to place a Pokemon if you take the gym. It's not fair yeah. if you other people do this stuff around. Poaching is not cool. Do smooth. Do smooth. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think you guys got the message. Don't poach. <laughs> it's not nice. Yeah. It's not in the spirit of Pokemon Go. And, uh, and Team Mystic doesn't like to hear yeah, Valor whining about it. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> we should, uh, your point is acknowledged. We should help you out. So thank you for pointing out that, that challenge in the current. Yeah, I mean, I know we talked yesterday for a while, and the idea is that, you know, again, the game really has just launched, and so... I know there's a laundry list of things that they have to get through and a laundry list of things, of suggestions, and I mean, it, it just, it's going to roll out, like, things are going to roll out over time, which I think is what is great about, you know, the game hasn't peaked yet, it seems like it's only just started and there's so much further to go. What? Three-step Oh, the three-step bug? We're, we're aware of that one. We are aware of that one. <laughs> I heard about it on this interweb thing. There's some people talking about it. People are angry on the internet? I don't believe it. Show me. <laughs> should we get a little something? Should we? We should maybe show a little something. A little something. I mean, I say we like I had anything to do with this. I didn't. I'm a, I'm a chip in a vest. Like, I'm not really... I'm a manky in a vest. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's do that. What do we got? <clears throat> All right. Boo! 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 Yeah. All right. So let's bring up. We, we're debuting for you here the leadership of Team Mystic. So you've only seen these guys as silhouettes in the current product, so because um, maybe we didn't get quite finished before launch day. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. So Blanche, which Team Mystic is going to be introduced, is going to be part of the product. Blanche? Yeah? Okay. Who else? Well, let's see what else we got. Yeah! Uh, yeah. yeah. It's my team. Alright, let's, 
Go see the leadership for uh, Instinct. Oh. Spar. Yeah, okay. Spar. And finally, do you have to show the other one? Is there any? <laughs> no, there's, there's no valid people here. I, I, I haven't heard any valid people. So let's see, what do we got here? <laughs> so these are the team. These are the team captains, and they're going to be yeah, available in the game soon. Dispensing advice, and you'll be hearing from them in a variety of ways. So, so before we leave, and first of all, uh, I want to thank you for coming to Comic Con, and, and obviously, I know this is a lot, and I know you know people are hitting with a lot of questions. What am I going to do? This? What am I going to do? This? I. It's all coming. Uh, I don't. I think you guys are going to be very happy for years to come. Do you have any tips or anything to leave everyone with before we leave? Is there any last words or any parting parting wisdom? Always spin. Always spin. Use the lucky eggs. And uh, but in all seriousness, uh, keep in mind the spirit of the game. Play with your friends. Have fun. See your city. Get some exercise. And above all, uh, be safe out there when you're playing. Thank you all for letting us come here and be here. Thank you. Yes. Uh, on behalf of everyone, uh, thank you for Pokemon Go and thank you for forcing me to get outside and talk to other people in real life. Uh, and thank you guys. Yeah, I know I teach the other teams, but it's it's met out of love, and uh, I've really enjoyed I've really enjoyed playing with you. And I'll see you out there. Uh, my my username is Hard. It's two B's, H-A-R-D-B-B-I-C-K, because some other jerk had hard work before I could get to it the first day. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you out there, and uh, thanks so much for coming. Thanks to John Hankey, thanks to Niantic and Nintendo, and uh, this is my last panel. Thank you so much for being with me. The ones who you are. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and I will see you next year. All right, take care. Enjoy.